Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy from Rebel Nutrition, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how I healed my melasma and hyperpigmentation, and some of my favorite supplements, lifestyle treatments, skincare treatments, and products that I have been using over the past few years to really, really improve my dark spots and melasma. I'm gonna be fully transparent. I don't feel like I'm completely healed, but my skin, I'll give you a little up close here, is definitely a lot clearer than it was a couple years ago when I made my last melasma video. I've gotten a lot clearer, but when I don't have makeup on, there is still a little bit going on there. But I'm gonna tell you guys what I've been using over the past year or so. There are so many different factors that play into the causes of melasma and hyperpigmentation. So although I am not a dermatologist, I'm just gonna kinda tell you guys what has worked for me and what has really made huge improvements in my skin. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about since I do come from a nutrition and kind of holistic background is that one of the main causes of melasma is hormonal. So the first thing I will say if you've struggled with melasma for a long time is that you might want to go to your doctor and get your hormone levels checked just to make sure nothing is out of whack. If you find that you're like really estrogen dominant, that can be a huge factor in why you are struggling with melasma and no amount of like lasers or creams or whatever is going to make it go away for good. So that would be the first thing that I would say. However, I knew that I didn't really have any hormone issues out of balance and I was still having hyperpigmentation and dark spots all over my face. And I knew that the reason for me was that I used to lay in tanning beds all the time as a teenager and that really damaged my skin. So I knew that that was the reason why I struggled with it and it was just a matter of like getting rid of that dark spots for me. So. Let's start with lifestyle changes. I know this is the least sexy, but at the very end, we'll get to like the products that really work. So make sure you stay until the end. But as far as lifestyle goes, something about melasma and hyperpigmentation that a lot of people don't realize, and I didn't realize for a long time, is that obviously if you're in the sun, that's going to give you dark spots. But also if your body, like your internal temperature is getting really hot, that can also make your melanocytes, which is like the what causes the darkening of your skin, it can make those kind of flare as well. So if you're somebody who does like hot yoga all the time, or you're just, maybe you do some sort of workout that gets you really sweaty, even if you're not in the sun, that can also cause darkening of the skin and melasma to start flaring up. So just be aware of that. Um, nowadays, I don't do hot yoga anymore just because I'll notice immediately after, not only is my skin super red, but the next day or so, my melasma or my hyperpigmentation will like start to come out again. And I definitely don't want that. And then the other obvious lifestyle hack is to wear a sun hat. This one is way better, in my opinion, than just a regular baseball cap, because if you're wearing just a regular baseball cap, I've said this before, but it only really blocks you from the sun until about right here. So if you're like me, most of my melasma was from about here down. And it's probably because even though I was really diligent about wearing a hat, um, it was only covering you know, this part of my face. So you want your whole face covered from the sun I know that sounds just super aggressive, but like if you wanna get rid of your dark spots, you're gonna to have to be really safe in the sun. And I will also link to my very sexy sun hat in the description box below if you wanna check it out. Okay, next up, let's talk about skincare treatments that I have tried um, for hyperpigmentation, melasma, dark spots. So I've tried a lot of different skincare treatments, you guys. I'm very into this kind of stuff. I've tried lasers, I've tried peels, I've tried um, microdermabrasion, all different types of facials. And I will say out of all of the more expensive treatments that I've tried, the one thing time and time again that has really, really showed a benefit and a lasting benefit for me is peels. So I've done a couple different videos on peels that I've done. One was the V peel um, where my face was like peeling off in chunks. That was intense, but it definitely, there was a huge benefit. And then the other peel that I did recently was called the reveal peel. Um, I went to Westside Aesthetics here in LA. I am getting ready to do a peel to hopefully get rid of some of the hyperpigmentation on my face. So step one of the peel is pure retinol. Mm -hmm your retinol really facilitates the peeling so it gets those cells to turn over okay and then the next collection of acids that I'm gonna put on actually lighten the skin so this is step two this is the actual peel and then so I leave this on for like four to six four hours, to six hours. Mm -hmm. okay. and then just wash, just it, off. wash it off and then I'm gonna make a compounding cream that you're gonna use every night I 
When I actually went in for that appointment, I was gonna go get another V peel because the results from that were so good, but the esthetician really convinced me that I should try the reveal peel and it was gonna be even better and longer lasting. And I will say, um, at first I was kind of annoyed because I didn't see the immediate effects that I did from the V peel But now a couple months later I do notice that the result from that reveal peel actually seem like they're more long-lasting um, So that one is a lot more intense. It's definitely not like a natural peel It's got I think hydroquinone in it, which is like a skin lightener um, and a couple a couple of other ingredients um, It's definitely got retinol and she made it kind of like a specific amount of retinol and hydroquinone for my skin type so if you're going to do a peel like that you definitely want to go to somebody who knows what they're doing and they can make it specific to your skin i will link to my esthetician's info below but i'm sure that wherever you are if you find an esthetician look for a recommendation just ask them what the best peel for hyperpigmentation or melasma would be i'm sure they have a couple different options for you the only thing that you really have to be aware of when going to get like one of the more expensive treatments is that some lasers can actually make melasma and hyperpigmentation worse. So you definitely, if you're gonna do something intense like a laser, you definitely wanna be going to somebody who knows what they're talking about and is not going to just be doing whatever laser on your skin. Um, there are some lasers that are only okay for lighter skin types. So if you have any sort of ethnicity, even myself, I'm Italian and Hispanic, and I have to be careful which lasers I'm doing because they can actually exacerbate the dark spots and we do not want that right i believe that the clear and brilliant laser is appropriate for all types of skin darker ethnicities african-american skin i'm pretty sure is still okay but again you definitely want to check with a licensed esthetician and i don't know what they're called laser professional <laughs> for that all right next up let's talk about supplements and again I am not making any recommendations. I'm just telling you guys what worked for me. I'm not a doctor, so make sure you check with your doctor before you start any sort of supplementation regimen. But let me tell you about a few new things that I've been doing for my skin. So I still take zinc picolinate, which I think is just great for acne and overall skin health, um, but I don't think it really correlates to hyperpigmentation. At least I haven't seen a difference with that. And I also still take Biosil, which is kind of like a vegan collagen supplement. So if you're not somebody who wants to supplement with um, traditional animal-based collagen for like your hair, skin, and nails, Biosil is a really good alternative to that. But as far as supplementation, for my hyperpigmentation and dark spots and melasma goes a few things I've been trying so this is Heliocare and I can't remember where I heard about this supplement from but when I started hearing about the benefits I was like oh my gosh I have to try that so even on the back of the bottle it says it helps maintain the skin's ability to protect itself against the aging effects of free radicals so what I've heard this referred to as is kind of like internal sunscreen so by taking this it's kind of giving your skin that extra layer of sunscreen from like the inside out, if that makes sense. So obviously you would still want to be using like topical sunscreen as well, but this kind of just helps protect any oxidative damage or free radical damage on your skin, which is why you get dark spots. So definitely love this. I've noticed a difference. And then also vitamin C, this is actually liposomal vitamin C. And just right now, I think with everything that's going on, vitamin C is just good to take in general but liposomal vitamin C just absorbs a lot better um, than regular vitamin C if you're taking it in like a capsule. And for the same kind of reason as the HelioCare, vitamin C also helps with oxidative damage, free radical damage, um, obviously prevents you from getting sick, but I think it makes a huge difference in like the appearance of your skin. And I'm gonna talk about topical vitamin C in just a second for one of my favorite products, but I think going internal with your vitamin C is also really, really helpful to your skin, especially if you have hyperpigmentation or melasma. All right, so now the part that I'm sure you guys have all been waiting for, let's talk about the different products that I'm using and loving that have really, really made a huge difference with preventing my melasma from coming back and continuing to make my skin clearer. So we have to start, of course, with SPF. This is my absolute favorite SPF. It also has hyaluronic acid in it. And to be honest, you guys, this is completely empty. I pulled it out of the trash this morning because I wanted to show you on the video, but this is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench SPF 45 with hyaluronic acid. I love it because this is the only SPF I've ever found that doesn't smell like sunscreen and doesn't leave like a sticky 
I don't know, feeling on your face. So this goes on really smoothly underneath makeup. I'm obsessed with it. And if you have melasma, hyperpigmentation, or dark spots, you never want to be going anywhere without sunscreen on. Again, I'm a little bit obsessive when it comes to this, but even if you work inside and you're like standing by a window, the sun can get in through there. And so you definitely want to make sure that you have sunscreen on your face, SPF 45 or above at all times. All right, next up, let's talk about topical vitamin C. So this is another really great product for lightening dark spots in a really kind of natural way. So obviously in a second, I'm gonna talk about some more of the like stronger ingredients that aren't necessarily considered natural, but that work. Vitamin C is a good place to start if you want to do something a little bit more natural. So this is the one that I've been using from Beauty Counter and I really like it. I would say when you're looking for a vitamin C, you wanna look for something that's at least like 15% ascorbic acid or vitamin C. Anything less than that, or if it doesn't give you a percentage, it's probably not strong enough. So definitely look for that. I will also link to this one below if you wanna try it out, but it's made a huge difference. This one even has turmeric in it. And a couple of the other more natural ingredients you could look for if you wanna start there before getting into some of the stronger stuff would be like squalene. I know Biosance has a really good squalene. And then another one is called Alpha Arbutin, and I actually have one of those I want to show you guys. So this is the Alpha Arbutin. I've been using this one at night, and I really like it. I love the Inky List, which is this brand, because they have a lot of really good kind of single ingredient products that are really cheap. I think this one was like maybe $8. So again, really good place to start, especially if you're on a budget. All right, next up, and this product is something that is a little bit stronger. It's a combination of a few different acids. So it's AHAs, which are alpha hydroxy acids, and BHAs, which are beta hydroxy acids. This is a combination of both of them. And this product is from The Ordinary. You've probably seen this one on Instagram. It's like a very red kind of I don't know, kind of crazy looking mask. Let You put it on your skin and you leave it on for about 10 minutes before taking it off. And it does tingle a little bit. So this one is gonna be a lot stronger and it's something that you would only wanna do a couple times per week. But the benefits of using acids on your skin, like AHAs and BHAs when you have hyperpigmentation, is that it really helps to exfoliate and get rid of the dead skin. And a lot of times, especially with me, if you have sun damage, um, a lot of times the dark spots that you have on your face are dead skin that you need to continue to exfoliate and get rid of in a gentle way. So you never want to be like scrubbing your dead skin off. Um, this is a great way to like exfoliate that um, dead skin and get it off. But you do want to be really careful because acids like these make your skin even more sensitive to the sun. So if you are using a mask like this or any sort of AHAs and BHAs, you want to do it at night and then the next day, you want to make sure you're even more obsessive about using SPF and wearing a hat. All right, you guys, so the last two products I'm gonna be talking about today are a little bit more on the toxic side. <laughs> so I like to give, you know, more natural options, but I also, I'm somebody who like, I gotta be honest, if something really, really works, even if it's toxic, I might still try it because I want the results. So I obviously try to choose the natural options first, but what can you do? So the first thing I wanna talk about is retinol or tretinoin. So tretinoin is like the prescription version of retinol. There's a lot of over-the-counter retinol creams, which creams and lotions and stuff that you can try um, that are gonna be usually less expensive, but they're not as strong and they're not as effective as the prescription version. So to get a prescription, you obviously have to get a doctor to prescribe it for you. And they can also decide like which percentage is gonna be best to start with. So I'm at a 0.05%. I feel like I could definitely go stronger than that, but this is just what I started with. And the reason you start low is that a lot of times when you first start using retinol, your skin starts to react and peel and get a little bit red and flaky because basically it's causing skin and cell turnover. So it's causing the dead skin to go away and the new skin to reappear. So it can be a little bit uncomfortable at first. And there's like a month or two span where you it actually kind of causes your skin to purge. I, I remember when I first started using retinol, um, I had more acne than before. My skin looked terrible. I was all red, but if you can just push through that month or two, like there's clear skin on the other side. <laughs> um, so I highly recommend that. I mean, if you, if you have a dermatologist that can recommend it for you or get you a prescription, it works really, really well. And in my opinion, and based on the research that I've seen, 
There's no other ingredient that works as well as retinol to get rid of hyperpigmentation, anti-aging, like it literally does everything. They even prescribe this for acne. So whatever skin problem you have, retinol is probably the answer. Okay, last but not least, and going back to the peel that I did before, the reveal peel, this is the brightening cream that the esthetician kind of concocted for me. Um, so this actually has retinol in it as well. So I stopped using that one when I was doing this one. I've been using this for the past like two months since I got that peel and you continue to use it and you continue to see benefits, but this also also has hydroquinone in it. So hydroquinone is kind of a tricky ingredient. Um, I've heard, I've done a lot of research on this and there's people on both sides. Some people are very pro hydroquinone because it's, it's a skin lightener essentially. Um, so if you have dark spots and hyperpigmentation and melasma, you're definitely going to see a benefit. But on the other side, the other argument is there are some other studies that show hydroquinone to be harmful and have harmful side effects um, when used long term. So if you are going to use hydroquinone, I just probably wouldn't use it for very long at a time. Like after I'm done with this jar, I'm probably not going to do it again, hopefully ever, just because I haven't seen enough research to show that it's like super safe that I, I probably wouldn't use it long term. But on the other hand, I have seen incredible results from it. So obviously make your own decisions there. <laughs> Use your best judgment and do what works for you. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you wanna check out my previous video on how I cured my melasma from like a year ago or so, I will link to that as well. And please let me know what other questions you guys have about hyperpigmentation, melasma, dark spots. It's so, so frustrating. And a lot of times when you go to the doctor and you ask them what to do about it, they're just like, there's nothing you can do, which I think is just not true. So I think there's a lot you can do, but it just takes a lot of commitment and consistency <laughs> to clear skin. So again, please give this video a thumbs up. If you liked it, make sure to hit subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already. And I will be back again soon with more skincare and beauty videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.